Hello, my noble band of outlaws. Outlaw Samurai coming at you live with a video. A few quick things. Update. Future plans and unboxing. Update part. I have just purchased and ordered the second season in the Dragon King Winter in the Dragon King seasonal collection, the Spring Sakura Katana. So look forward to unboxing slash review of that. Let's see. Update. Future plans. I do intend to do more cutting videos. I have noticed a very distinct lack of cutting videos on my channel. And the bit of a mild neglect of my blades. I think I can literally see the dust forming on some of these swords. So, there's that. Second bit of an update. No, I didn't rust. No, I didn't leave this thing outside for it to rust. Get that out of the way. I very crudely attempted to blacken this sword. So I wouldn't have to deal with rust anymore, only to find that minute surface rust keeps forming on it. So I might have to take a scratch pad, an SOS pad, and scratch it all off and, uh, I guess, paint it black. Because I like black, okay? My favorite colors are red and black. Third thing, unboxing. Now, if any of you know me, you know me and the internet and online shopping. Well, they don't go together too well. So, what have I bought this time? Well, I bought a Milwaukee. But not just any Milwaukee. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the Milwaukee 4 inch fixed blade knife called the Tradesman. Limited lifetime warranty, apparently. So, you might be wondering why I bought a Milwaukee knife. Don't I usually just buy swords? You'd be correct in assuming that I spend all my money on swords. In fact, if you know me personally, you could even go, far, go as far as to say that's pretty much the only thing I buy. Well... Two reasons why I bought the Milwaukee Tradesman. Number one, it comes with its own sheath. If I can get the blasted fucking thing open. There we go. Number two, as some of you may or may not know, I am actually a very huge fan of HDA of HD, ADHD's world and their content. I've been watching them since my third year of high school. But I was in high, which I graduated in 2019, so I've been watching them since 2018, 2017. And in, uh, and on that show, they have this skit about the unboxing knife, which is a Milwaukee tradesman. So, after being a fan of the sh of that content for so long, and knowing I could get and finding out I could get this off of Amazon, I decided to buy one. Show my fandom as it was. And first impressions, very nice. It's a very decent, simplistic scabbard. Now you see, there's a thing about plastic scabbards in general and what it is is that some people they'll get all hyper focused oh the scabbard isn't up to snuff or the sheath isn't up to snuff not anything's up to snuffy snuff snuff well my personal opinion is does a scabbard or a sheath really need to be extraordinarily durable if it does the job, which is to keep yourself and or anything else protected from 
the contact with the blade. I made a cardboard and duct tape scabbard for my Kriegsmesser. Does the job. Has the retention of a two dollar whore, but it does the job. Keep the sword in place. Keeps the sword from cutting anything else up and or damaging shit around me. My cold steel Italian longsword. The retention on this thing is even worse. Oh, huh, a dollar, a fifty cents whore. But at the same time, it does what it's supposed to and keeps the blade from cutting anything that I don't want it to cut and or getting damaged and keeps it away from water. So it won't rust easily. In any case, that's a little bit of a rant I wanted to go on. Sheaths, scabbards, and saya in general do not need to be freaking half inch thick pieces of plastic, wood, or in some cases metal that you can beat the ever-loving hell out of somebody with one hand and cut them with the other. Sometimes you just need simplicity and that is what this Milwaukee, and that's what the sheath for this Milwaukee tradesman is. It is simplistic, it's sturdy, it has no more and no less accoutrement than is necessary and it does its job. So good on Milwaukee. Now, this retails for $41 on Amazon, which apparently you can get these in stores for $14 to $28. Yeah, I paid double the price of what I could uh, pay for in the store for this. But the reason why is I can't, that none of the stores around me sell Milwaukee tools. And just from feeling this blade, it's got a decent edge on it. Now if I can just find the way I threw the packaging. There it is. Whoop. Okay, so I cut the packaging by accident. But from what I've seen of reviews of this, this is supposed to be some sort of stainless steel, four inch blade, Overall, nine inches, and it has a little thing for a lanyard on it. And I guess if you had to use it for a glass breaker. Hey, you can't tell from looking, but my floor is extremely dirty and I need to clean it. Because I tend to do a lot of shit in my room. I do a lot of, uh, actually, I do a lot of woodworking and grinding in here on blades and cleaning. So yeah, my room. So yeah, my room has actually become my room slash workshop. Uh, work sh work shop. Not work shop. If I can learn to talk, that would be amazing. And I know this is a little bit of an impromptu uh, thing. Kind of pulled out my ass, kind of do, kind of deal. And I realize that. Sorry, nobleman about lost. I just am trying to cut back on the overall length of my videos. Trying to keep them manageable within 10 minutes. So, let's see how well she cuts. I'm not gonna lie. This thing cuts better. In some of my swords at almost triple the price range. The only sword I own that has done anywhere near as good as this is the Dragon King Winter Sun Katana. I'm gonna just lay that there. If I can just remember where I lay shit. Now, 
Not naturally. Because this is a uh, sword designed to cut things, it's sharp. Also, I uh, took this to a 6,000 grit sharpening belt to hone the edge. It was already stupid sharp when it came to me. But after touching up that edge, it gave. But after touching it up on the workshop, it just gave me that edge that was just so nice it was sinful. Anyways, continue on with. Let's test the fit of the blade to the sheath. Mm hmm. Wow. That is some good retention. Okay. Even brand new swords that I buy. None of the swords I've bought have ever had this kind of retention on it. The only one that has had this kind of retention when I first bought it was again the Dragon King Winter Sun Katana for $300. Which, by the way, this has actually come loose on me, but ever since I put a little bit of glue around the Koi Gucci, it has that perfect Saya fit now. This will come out if I just shake it, but light shaking like this doesn't come out. But then, it's got that perfect fit. Wario Katana already came loose as hell, but... Yeah, it still comes out, but I pretty much fixed the uh, loose Saya problem. Haven't actually done any work to its little sister. Because it's... Still basically comes out with just one little shake. Which, on a sword, generally I am have attached to my back. On a backpack, I guess isn't a completely bad idea. But I may want to, but I may at some point, when I get around to it, glue the inside a little bit. But yeah, for product... Literally, not even a quarter of the price that you pay for a $300 sword, $700, or $400 sword. Because those three are my most expensive swords. Alright. I think the Kriegsmesser was also $400 something. And the Cold Steel Long Italian Longsword was $200 on Amazon. All three of those I bought from, all the cold steel stuff I have, I think, except for the exception of the longsword I bought from Cult of Athena. But look, yet, it comes out so smoothly with just a little pull. That is actually quite impressive. I very much do like just the fact that once you put this on your belt not only is it going to stay there but like whenever you need it all you gotta do is give it a little uh, pull or let's see how this works basically thumb draw it like a katana I'm very impressed with the Milwaukee for, with the Milwaukee Tradesman Knife. And I'm actually going to say I recommend buying this. Now, I'm going to be using it for somewhat of its intended purpose as a multi-use knife. Mainly uh, for when I'm at work and I want to slice up boxes. Now, if you're going to be using a fixed blade knife instead of a 
disposable blade knife like a box cutter, I suggest you carry with you a little sharpening stone. Just to be able to touch up that edge. Or maybe even a little uh, razor strop with a bit, with a bit of stropping compound. Just yip, 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 yip. Yeah. Is it? Oh, 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 holy shit! Look. Right there. Can you see it? I'm sacrificing my arm here for you guys. Look at this shit. That is shaving sharp. There's actually hairs on the knife. Forget using this to cut boxes. Oh, and that's such a smooth shave, too. Now there's going to be a ball spot on my arm. Forget doing that. I'm going to put this to the work sharp, get it nice and honed up. I'm going to use this as a straight razor. Got that nice, controllable handle. I think I can use this as a nice straight razor. But damn. Not even the Winter Sun Katana or any of the other swords I have have done that. That's quite impressive. Good night. You should get it. Well, until next time, my noble band of outlaws. I love samurai. Tells all y'all be crazy. Redneck, be safe and using your weapons. I'm out. Peace. And this has turned into another 20-minute video.